Hey Master, in this video we're gonna see how to integrate the GitHub MCP server with Cursor. We're gonna do some interesting stuff like create a PR, create issues, merge stuff using the chat from Cursor. Everything is gonna happen from that particular chat. It is gonna be awesome, so let's jump in. First thing, get an access token. How to do it? Go to your profile photo, click on settings, then on the left, a menu bar look for developer settings and then personal access tokens i'll be using a classic token for this demo and then you have to click on this button generate new token and generate new token classic then you're gonna need to authenticate yourself provide a um, like permissions for your token i provided every single permission for that token i copied it and i pasted it in a safe place so that's the first thing that you have to do get an, a personal token okay masters let me show you uh, how to configure the github ncp server with cursor first of all i just created a new file under my developer folder all right and i'm gonna show you what is inside here here is the the file name that i created it is github ncp cursor.sh the important part here is the sh a extension file if you want to name this file with other name it's, it's totally fine all right then um you have to edit that particular file right a vin developer and i'll be well ed editing the github ncp cursor sh as you can see i'm inside of the file now and i can edit it so uh, what i have done is basically configure this string um it is under my notes as well this is the string github personal access token then you have to place or paste your token here all right and then use the standard mpx y at model context protocol slash server github command that's what you have to put inside of that particular file once you have that you just have to save it there it is now that you have that particular file uh, with the information that you need i want to show you that it is actually working and i save the changes with a cat command here a quick one there it is all right now that you have that you need to do something else you need to use the command real path okay then send the 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 like the route or where your sh file is and it is going to return the real path of your file so you have to copy it all right and once you have that in the memory go to the cursor uh, settings then cursor settings again and look for mcp server click on add new global mcp server and then you have to create this object if you don't have it all right i have a couple of mcp servers under the under this object the first, first one is playwright mcp server this is a video that i published last week uh, if you want to T check it out i'll try to leave it in the in the description of the video but the most important one for this video is github all right this is gonna be the github i'm sorry the mcp server that we need then inside of it you, you can see that i'll be using the command bash and then inside of the argument as the only position in this array it is gonna be this particular real path that i just extracted using the command real path and then the file over here all right so i just copy it and i pasted it over here that's it so then you just have to restart your cursor if it is required and it should look like this when i go to a uh, settings cursor settings again mcp you can see that the github a uh, mcp server in green and you can see that it has this command right and we have all the tools that we need for instance uh, push files create a pull request list issues update issue um, merge pull requests update pull request branch and so on so now we are ready for the demo it is time to execute the different prompts and show you how the github mcp server works so i'll just start doing uh, some chatting here using cursor so i'll press command l it is going to open a new chat and I'm going to copy the first prompt that I want to use, which is create a simple HTML file plus CSS with a quick hello world. As you can see, I'm using the agent mode and I'll be pressing send. And as you can see, it has generated them. As you can see in the project folder here, if I open this under notes, I have an index 
with a hello world, all right? And then we have the CSS related to it. You can see that the hello world is between an H1 tag. So it is awesome. So I will I will accept all the changes. Use the GitHub MCP server to create a new PR under the current repository automatically. So I'll press enter and it should start the process of committing, pushing the changes and create a new pull request. So as you can see, it is using the create branch function from the GitHub MCP server. All right, then it is using push files, which is another action. And then it is creating the pull request. As you can see, this is the action create pull request. And here you can see the information that it is sending the owner, repository, title, body, head and base. So once that it is done, we can perfectly go to GitHub and check the pull request that it has created automatically. And as you can see, add hello world web page. This is the PR that it opens. As you can see, it is a, it has this particular description. So it is awesome. And I think it's, it's fair enough. Actually, you also can see that I have a branch named feature hello world. It did it automatically just to keep everything in order. The next step masters is going to execute this prompt. Use the GitHub MCP server to approve the PR and leave a message saying looks good to me. <laughs> so I'll press send and let's see if it works. Let's wait for a few seconds and it is calling the create pull request review. So it didn't work for some reason. It seems that uh, do, 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 there seems to be a recurring issue. I have added to do, do, do. while I wasn't able to use the formal GitHub PR review approval due to some technical limitation. Uh, I have successfully added the approval message to pull request. Well, for some reason, masters, I wasn't able to approve the PR because there are some uh, kind of technical difficulties for the MCP server so far. But as you can see, it was able to uh, post a good comment here <laughs> in the PR. So to be honest, I tested this yesterday and it was able to approve it. So probably this is a temporal issue and hopefully it's going to be solved pretty soon. Probably something from my side as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, that, that was this particular problem and the result. Let's continue with the next one. The next step is simple. We're going to use the GitHub MCP server. Okay. To merge the PR to the main master branch. All right. So I'll press send and let's see if it do it correctly. So it is going to start the generation. And it is saying I'll use the GitHub MCP server to merge the pull request PR number four into the master branch. And as you can see, it used the merge pull request action and that's it. I should be able to go to the GitHub repository. All right. So I'll refresh this. And as you can see, this pull request was merged and I don't have any other pull request in the queue. And if I go to the code base and I look for this, you can see that now we have the index HTML in our repository. And also I want to make sure that I don't have any other branch. Hmm. It didn't automatically delete the branch. Well, that's something that we can just include in the prompt and it is going to be solved for sure. Right. But this is awesome. Let's continue with the next prompt. The next prompt is simple. Use the GitHub MCP server to create a new issue called change hello world to buy world. All right. And tag it as front end. So let's do it. I'll press send and let's see if the GitHub MCP server can help me generating an issue. So as you can see, it is using the action create issue. As you can see in the parameters, uh, well, it is sending the title, the body and one label because I'm just sending one. So that's it. <laughs> Let's go to the repository. Let me refresh it and let me go to issues. And as you can see, now I have one issue over here, right? And as you can see, it is saying we need to update the current hello world page to display by world instead. The tasks are over here. We also have tasks. One, change the text in the HTML file from hello world to by world, update the page title accordingly. That's awesome. And ensuring or ensure that the styling remains consistent. So th that's cool. Masters, now that we have everything in place, we have an issue. I want to solve that issue locally and then 
mm, push the changes to the repository, then mark the issue as completed and everything is gonna be completed for the video. So let's continue with this small advance. Implement the issue requested change in this local environment. So I'll press enter, okay? And let's see if a cursor in this case can help us with the agent model, okay? So it is reading the index, reading the styles, it is updating the HTML, and now instead of hello world, it's, it is gonna say by world, all right? Um, to the two, uh, you can see that it has changed the page title, the heading text as well, and also maintained the existing styles as specified in the issue. All right, master. So now that we have this, then we have to uh, issue the next prompt to merge these changes into the browser. I'm sorry, into the repository, right? So let's use the prompt. Use the GitHub MCP server to merge the latest change in my local environment to master. So let's do it. I'll press send. I am not caring about the PRs and all this stuff because I just show you that it is working fine. And as you can see, masters, it is well creating a branch. It is pushing the updated index change to the new branch, all right? It is using push files, as you can see over here. Now it is creating a pull request to merge these changes. It is doing automatically as a good practice. And then it is merging the pull request into the main branch. So masters, if I go to the repository, all right, so I'll refresh this. Well, uh, you can see that this issue is closed. All right. Um, you can see that this issue um, is closed and it is related to this particular PR, all right? Implementing the changes requested, requested in issue uh, five. And all right, it is closed automatically. So I think it's practically done, right? I go to the code part of this repository. And as you can see in the index.html, now it is saying by world in the title and in the H1. If I look for the branches, the branches are there. It is just a matter of a good prompt there, just to make sure that everything is clean. But you can see that the issues are now closed. Actually, the one issue that we created is closed and we don't have any pull request. So this is awesome. Mm, I think I don't need to run the, la the last, um, the last prompt, it was about close the issue, right? And put a comment there saying ready for QA, right? That is the demo for today, masters. Thank you for watching until the end. And if you enjoy it, please subscribe to this channel. Um, it is gonna be a lot of support for me. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you can watch new videos soon about software testing and tools like this that could ease our lives.